Got anything? No, I'm, I'm not reading an entrance anywhere. The entire structure is not only subterranean, the entire thing is made of solid neutronium. Underground tunnels? No, just solid metal below the ground. Who built a building without any doors? I don't know. What? What's your status, Commander? We're reading phaser fire down there. Uh, sorry, Captain, can't really chat right now. We're a little busy, what with the very important mission to save the galaxy and fighting a great and terrible enemy, all that. We've managed to elude the ship that was chasing us. We're almost back in transporter range. I'm pulling you out. No, Captain, this is too important. Sir, I'm not for sure we can hold this position. I'm pulling you out. That's an order. Breach the transporter room. Prepare to beam up the landing party. Captain, I'm picking up three Klingon battlecruisers dead ahead on an intercept course. Where'd they come from? I'm not sure. It, sensors are fluctuating due to energy fields emanating from the surface. It looks like they've been concealing their ships over the planet's south pole. We raise the shields. We won't be able to beam up the landing party. The artifact activated on its own. It must be proximity to whatever's down there. Damn it. My phaser just stopped working. We're sitting ducks. My tricorder's cutting out too. I'm not getting accurate readings, but the power output of the structure seems to be increasing rapidly. It, it must be dampening our gear. Do you hear that? They're not firing back either. They must have taken out their disruptors too. Well, Klingons prefer fighting with swords. We need a solution fast. The emergency batons are composed of titanium. They won't be able to cut through those. I have a thought, but it's risky. What do you got, Bruce? We could try a near warp transport. Go to warp for one second, get past the Klingons, and then kill the engines just long enough to energize the transporter, and go right back to warp. The timing would be critical, but we could do it, sir. Now, Finkham, just like last time, Let's do it. Stand by warp engines. Transporter room, beam up the landing party the instant we drop out of warp. Aye, sir. Sensors ready. Ready. Sir, I'm picking up a blip on the motion sensors astern. Direct hit. We've taken damage to the starboard nacelle, preventing drive plasma. Hard to port, all auxiliary power to shields. Battle cruisers are opening fire. The starboard nacelle has been destroyed, sir. Starboard nacelle this time. Forward shields, 40% and falling. Full impulse, evasive maneuvers. I'm picking up more ships. Target their weapons array. We need to take some heat off the Excalibur. Computer identifies the lead ship as the USS Chamberlain Foley class. Ensign Thielen, attack pattern alpha. Full impulse power. I search. Sir. 
Sir, the target's been disabled. 180 degree turn, hard about. Let's take some pressure off our boys. This is why I became a pilot. Ship to ship. Captain, I just fixed that ship. Yes, sir. You've managed to have it out less than a week, and you've already wrecked it again. Well, technically, the Klingons wrecked it. How'd you know we needed assistance? Well, when you deviated from your flight plan and we lost contact with your transponder, we figured that you probably needed backup. Are you able to continue with your mission, Captain? Well, we lost the starboard in a cell, but she still has a lot of fight left in her. Well, then by all means, proceed. We'll give you cover fire. All forward weapons fire at will. The D-7 has routed reserve power to their shields. Those other ships aren't going to stay disoriented for long. Concentrate our fire on the D-7. Find anything? I was on to something before the Klingons attacked. Oh. Took out the first wave, but there's more incoming. And be prepared. Our phasers haven't been working. You may need to use batons. You guys keep working. We'll give you cover. And you still have no idea how to get in? I think the device is locking onto something inside the structure. Huh. What if that's the way in? And what if there's no way out? <laughs> then I guess saving the galaxy is its own reward. I guess you're right. <sighs> My tricorder's working again. Maybe this room is shielded from whatever was causing the interference. Seems that way. Well, the good news is, we can safely breathe in here. Okay. What's the bad news? The bad news is that this room is not just shielded, it is completely sealed off. And the artifact is powered down again. So that's a fun new problem to solve. Well, I guess we're lucky this is your sort of thing, huh? True. Hmm. <laughs> that is definitely not in Spanish. No. It looks almost like Icobar, but not quite right. I think this is a list of star system coordinates. And it's updating based on stellar drift. So, it's a map of the galaxy? 
Mm-hmm. For what purpose? I don't know. But let's find out. I don't think that's a hologram. Why? What are you reading? I'm reading that landscape. The mountains, the water, the content of the air. It's like it's just on the other side of a doorway. But n not a doorway. At least not in the physical sense. It's incredible. I can feel the wind. The chill in the air? It's real. <sighs> not a transporter. Not a wormhole. So... Space folding. <sighs> Something we've only begun to theorize and dream about. But it's real. <sighs> Whoever these people were, they could travel across the stars in a single step. Can, can you imagine what we could do with this? We could explore distant worlds and far corners of the galaxy, even other galaxies. We could scan dangerous stellar phenomena without putting anyone's life at risk. We could send aid and supplies to worlds in need. Imagine the evil that could be done with this. Absolute conquest of entire worlds and civilizations. Or it could be used for glorious revolution. For too long, our empire has been ruled by politicians, greedy Kavadla who care only about their own power and glory. With this, we will finally restore our empire to the people, to the honorable, how did you get in here without the device? That's for me to know and you to never find out. I must thank you, though. You have done us a great service. That component was the only piece of the puzzle not present here. When you activated it on your ship, it powered up the gateway here, which locked onto it. With this power, we will restore our empire. So you get rid of the evil, power-hungry politicians, and then what? Take power yourself, I assume? I will restore honor to the Empire. Federation coward like you could never understand. I understand that once you overthrow the Klingon High Council, you won't stop there. You'll use this device to conquer the Federation and whoever else you choose. Spoken like a self-righteous human, you would be no different. At least we admit who we are. You would use this device to conquer the galaxy with words, with ideas turning every race into a copy of yourselves. Just like you've done with your entire human federation. We preserve species under our protection. Diversity is the federation's greatest strength. Strength? What would you know about strength? I'm surprised your feet race. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
stop me, pitiful human animal! Now! That was close. Too close. Now, how do we get out of here? Uh, and what do we do with this tech? How did this happen again? Uh, that Klingon has a mean left hook. Right, I see. You may return to duty, Captain. Please alert me if there are any persistent symptoms. And the rest of the crew? Zero fatalities. Several minor injuries, although most have returned to duty. I do have Ensigns Clark and Mikhail on rest for 48 hours. That would do us all some good. Thank you, Doctor. Commander Beck. Doctor. Mean left hook, huh? Well, I couldn't tell her what really happened. I said duck. <laughs> I thought you said look. Uh, well, you, you blew up my favorite tricorder, so let's just call it even. I thought we decided to destroy all the evidence. I could have just wiped the memory core. Are you sure you're okay with this? I don't wanna, I don't wanna lie to the crew, but we can't risk word getting out about what we found. Too much harm can come from that technology in the wrong hands. Yeah. What about you? I mean, this is the kind of discovery you've been dreaming of for years. Are you sure you can give that up? I can't help but think of the possibilities. All the other discoveries it could lead to, all the good we could do with tech like that in the Federation's hands. But I know you're right. Anything with that much potential could be used to do terrible things too. I'm not sure anyone's ready for that kind of power. Not even us. <sighs> not even the people who made it. Whoever they are. They seem to be gone now, though. Well, maybe someday. Somebody else will find out what happened to them. I hope we're ready then. <laughs>